sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be less mean. This, I, each time I come back into this lot, I'm like less and less impressed. It just, this is the most generic looking nightmare house I've ever seen in my entire life. I can't believe that this is actually a pre-built house on The Sims 4. Okay, we're not here to renovate this house. <laughs> we we're here to bulldoze this house. P please go away. Okay, we're free. It's fine. We're attempting another build challenge today. This time, the first swatch build challenge. And what that means is I'm going to build a house, but I can only use the first color swatch of any item. So instead of changing a swatch and being like, oh, you know, I want this bed, but I want it in yellow. No, too bad. <laughs> if you want this bed, you're getting it in green. And so the idea is that we have to look at the catalog for what it is, first swatch, and only pick items that match our color scheme from there. Should be interesting. Some of the swatches are kind of weird, especially when it comes to like sofas and stuff. Like this one is red by default, so that'll be fun. But I was thinking we could build it here in this neighborhood, the beautiful Evergreen Harbor, because a lot of the houses nearby are pretty generic. I think our house is gonna be pretty generic, so <laughs> we're gonna just try and fit in, you know? Hopefully here we can blend in really well. They don't look so bad when you look at them at like the next door neighbor's places, but the fact that they're so small and close together helps. This big empty lot does not help. Should we just begin? Do we just <laughs> wing it? I mean, I guess. Okay, fine. I kind of want to just make it shaped exactly like our neighbor's houses. Is that bad? No, it's fine. It's totally fine. We'll make it like a little bit fancier than our neighbor's houses, but we're going to take their vibe and we're going to run with it. So, all right, guys, it's done. Build's done. See, they did a lot of like the roof being this way. I would never do this. This is like my biggest no-no in the world when it comes to build tutorials. I'm like, if I can offer you one piece of advice, it's don't, don't do that. <laughs> I always suggest that you put the roof facing the shortest wall. But you know what? Rules are meant to be broken. And it's not even a rule. It's just a weird generic thing that I do in The Sims. I think I made it too wide. Oh, this is a bad build. What are we doing? What are we starting off with? <laughs> this is gonna be so ugly. I'm sorry. Like really, truly, I am sorry. This is not my intention. I did come in here starting to try and do something good. Like I was, I didn't start this off thinking like, I'm gonna build a bad house in The Sims. Mm. Shall we use a fence? We can use, this is the first swatch of this thing, a simple fence. Yeah, we need one of those. <laughs> We really do. Okay, that's annoying. Why does it do that? Genuinely, okay, I'll show you in a second. I gotta move this over once so we can fix it. But do you see how it like auto places? So there's just one. Why does it, why would it look like that? Why would I want the fence posts like that? In what world is that the solution? Yeah, that's better. It's still not good. Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> I do not want these things to auto place. I'm sorry, I'm fine. I'll get through it. It's fine. Oh, I guess we're using white trim on the roof. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yep, it's gonna be white trim. Um, that's kind of a fun roof color. It sort of matches some of the neighbors too. Not all of the neighbors, but some of them. Oh man, this is a disaster. <laughs> At least the columns are white swatches by default too. So that makes our lives a little bit easier. Should we do it like that? Where does the door go? I guess most of their doors are not centered. It does look like a real house. I'll give them that. Like this kind of thing you would find in real life. It's just disappointing. Might I interest you in a um, blue suburban? <laughs> No, that looks terrible. We can't do that. I'm sorry. We can use beige like all of our neighbors. Oh, that's great. That's just awesome. <laughs> I mean, the options really are limited. It's like, do you want beige or do you want blue? So I guess we I guess we go with beige. Should I put the foundation up a little bit higher? And then I can get brick. That's probably a good idea. I was thinking about doing a tiny deck there. Do they have fences? I guess some of them do have fences. Why, why do I care? It doesn't matter what the neighbors are doing, Kayla. <laughs> You're living your own life. Uh, random wood flooring. Cool. Okay. You know what's really nice is that I can center whatever door I want. <laughs> I'm not, I am not limited. Oh, what a beautiful day. Look at this. I can use this if I wanted to. Of course I won't because it's this weird color, <laughs> but it's kind of a baby poop color. That's ugly. This one could work. It's taller. Mm. <laughs> it's still ugly. Okay. Very nice. That's great. Um, that's ugly too, but you know what? That's just life, isn't it? It's just the way it's gonna be. Get a little door there, get some windows here. <laughs> oh man, this is terrible. Oh, how about some brick stairs? That could be fun. It's not that bad. <laughs> I've definitely built worse in The Sims, to be honest. Kinda wanna scoot it over a little bit more. And I also kinda wanna make the backyard a little bit smaller. I know we just did all that work to like make it not look weird, but I wanted this part to line up better with the sidewalk. You know how that it's like nice. It's like a line. That's what I wanted. <laughs> how do we lay this out now? I don't know. Master bedroom, master bathroom. Maybe the kitchen can go back here. I don't know where, you, where we would put the stairs. Oh, oh, the stairs are a problem. None of them are good. Do those, that, 
Oh, I want the staircase right there. It looks so good right there. I guess I could put the stairs over there. I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know what I'm going for here. Let's put some windows in the kitchen. Uh, I hate this build. <laughs> it's a four bedroom house. That's not bad. Okay, okay. Let's just get some doors in here, shall we? Oh, it's so nice being able to center these doors. This, this is the best day of my life. I think we need some windows here. I wasn't gonna put any windows on this side of the house because it looks dumb, but I think the hallway could use some. Nice view of the trash cans. Look at that. Wow. Stunning. Should we use the new floor? So far, it's just base game. Oh, that color's not very good. <laughs> Never mind. Let's use this one. Cat's here. <laughs> Do you mind if she stays? Her birthday was yesterday, so you have to say yes. I mean, no, you have to say no, you don't mind. She laid right on my keyboard. That's really useful. <laughs> Thank you, Snap. I think this bathroom should be Jack and Jill with the master. I know it's annoying that the master has to share with the downstairs bathroom, but like, I, I think that they should. I think we need a bathroom downstairs. I mean, the guest bathroom is right up the stairs, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal if the guest had to go upstairs to use it. I'm just gonna use these counters, I think. I like the shape of the kitchen. <laughs> I think it's cute. What I don't know how to do is lay out the living room. I don't know what wall to put the TV on. <laughs> I think that like, maybe this wall would be good. Stick it like there. I don't know what rug to use. Oh no, <laughs> these aren't good. Oh, we could stick this rug like size down in the kitchen. That could be nice. I don't really wanna use that here. That's not the generic vibes that I'm going for. <laughs> None of them are the generic vibes that I'm going for. This one's pink. This one could work. Are you allowed to size things down in this challenge? Surely you are. It would be dumb if you couldn't, right? Oh no. <laughs> oh, thank you, Snap. Okay. I don't really know. Stop eating my headphone cord. Okay. I'm gonna have to hold this up. That is ridiculous looking. Put it back. <laughs> Stop eating my headphone cord. Okay, we I can't set this down. I have to hold it above her face. I think this rug is a problem, but I don't know what rug to use otherwise. I didn't realize how hard this would be. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Are we using other packs? Maybe if we use that. I don't know where to put. <laughs> also, the cat is just... Sorry. Maybe if the rug... Okay, that's not gonna work. I do not know. Maybe if we didn't have... How are you meant to lay out this living room? <laughs> it's cursed. It's this door being here. I don't really want to move that door, but we might have to. See, like, that fixes the problem. I don't like this rug. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. Can I just use this brown one? <laughs> that's a nice console table. Huh. I don't know about the color, but it's nice and low. I think we're gonna use that one instead. Could always like size down. See, I feel like we can't really mix and match all the woods like this. I don't know what coffee table to put in here. It's cursed. <laughs> just leave it, Kayla. Just don't think about it too much. Oh, that looks pretty. Or that, that's nice. Get a nice plant in the corner. That's a nice swatch. <laughs> It's not that bad. Can we scoot it all over a little bit? Oh, can I have my door there still? Oh, I could like alt place it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. Like genuinely, that's fine. That's totally fine. I don't know where to put the dining table now is the problem. Oh, and we're doing a first swatch challenge. Oh no. <laughs> what are we gonna pick? I'll put that right there. It's not that bad right now, but we haven't done the walls yet. So <laughs> I always do the wall painting last because I don't want to think about it. Oh, I'm gonna give him a dumpster. I don't know why, but I feel like we deserve one of those right outside of the kitchen window. Looks great. Absolutely stunning. Let me tell you. Maybe we could have one of these on the patio porch whatever. Put it- put it right there. Use that light in the kitchen. Let's go to debug. bb.show hidden obd- oh no, let's just use a regular base game table. I mean, we do have those. <laughs> what if it was just- I don't know what size table to put- I genuinely don't know what size table to get in here. I feel like that- those chairs would look ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, is this a cheat for the first swatch challenge to use the debug items that- <laughs> They're all their own swatch. No, we'll use the default like white swatch on this. It's only fair. There's literally nowhere to put this. Nowhere looks good. <laughs> How disappointing. Can I like scoot the staircase back a tile? It's not ideal, but I'll even like fill that out. I don't mind. I feel like that's better to be honest. I don't know how else to do it. We could put some windows next to it. <laughs> it looks so ugly from the side. This could be good for the stove though. Look, maybe it's a good thing. <laughs> maybe it's a blessing. See? Oh, <gasps> we could even- oh, wait a minute. We could probably get a dishwasher in here. I never put dishwashers in my Sims builds. This is groundbreaking. See, that's a nice looking kitchen. Maybe get like a little um, range hood above the stove. Oh, we should put a fire alarm. I always forget to put fire alarms in my houses. Where should we put it? How about even just like there? No, that's weird. How about- no, that's weird. Um, in The Sims 3, I used to always put it right above the stove. <laughs> I guess it can go there. I don't care. Now the fire department will come save you if you burn your house down. Oh god, what tile do we put in here? Do we just use like white tile? That's not that bad. Even put it on that back wall. 
Ooh, maybe it is that bad. <laughs> How about just this one? Should we get a desk? I always wanted to put a desk right here. I say always wanted, it's been like a long time wish of mine. I, I literally just decided that I wanted a desk here. It hasn't been a long, long standing wish, but if we put, I think it needs to be a smaller desk. This one is so ugly <laughs> and it's red, so we can't use it. Oh no. Even if we like stuck this one partially into the wall, so it was like a built-in. How big are the computers? I don't even, I think that's fine. Making it like built into the wall. Oh, I can't change swatches. Oh no. What chair am I supposed to use? That one? <laughs> this is so much worse than I thought it was gonna be. And I feel like this part of the wall is weird. Maybe if we didn't have that and we had a furniture piece for real. Even if it was like that furniture piece. It looks like a bench, but it's a table. Is it a table? Yeah. Huh. We could like raise up these paintings. Size them down, stick them on there. That's kind of fun, actually. Oh, wait, that looks really good. Oh, switch that out with like the purple one. <laughs> that looks really cool on this shelf. I actually, oh, it's floating. Wait, do you see that? This is slotted onto the shelf and it's floating. I have very little patience for dumb Sims things. And that is one of the dumbest <laughs> Sims things I've ever seen in my entire life. Why is it floating? Everything wrong with the Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle Part 2. These things float on the bench. Does everything float on the bench? Yeah, it does. Oh, <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> okay, I don't think we can use any of the wallpaper from this pack. <laughs> I think we gotta use base game stuff. What if it was like this? Cause there's some blue on the chairs and it kind of ties it in. <laughs> it looks so ugly. I really did have such high hopes for this. That, no, that's not even that bad to be honest. It does kind of tie it together well. Maybe we could keep that. Okay, in the bathroom, I want a bathtub. No, I want a square bathtub that fits in the wall. I want a sink. I want a mirror. Oh, this doesn't look good. Wait, I think we made a mistake. Maybe, maybe we don't get a shower. <laughs> Do we like, you? <laughs> I know we already put tile in here, but do we change it out for like this? Well, it looks really bad with the rest of the house, but I think that's okay. It's not okay, is it? Looks really bad. Yeah, I think I want to switch all the lights to be these. They're more like generic family home sort of lights, and if there's one vibe we're going for, it would be generic family home. I'm bored, I want to do the outside now. <laughs> I don't want to furnish it yet. We'll come back to that. What sort of trees do they have? Lots of pine trees? Okay, I say we embrace it. Yeah, that screams generic family home to me. Okay. <laughs> How about a mailbox? The other neighbors don't really have that much landscaping, to be honest. Oh, let's get a patio. I think we deserve a small one. They're like, uh, that fence gate does not match. We don't need a fence gate. That's okay. <laughs> Never mind. Even if we had like a grill, a little table. Why does it have to be yellow? <laughs> I'll just, I'll use it anyway, it's okay. Get some planters over there. That's actually not that bad of a backyard. Oh, what if we did like flower boxes? Wait, this might be a, a very smart move. Even just a couple of the windows because makes it look less bland. <laughs> oh, the flower situation. I didn't really think that through either. I forgot about landscaping being difficult because we can't pick the colors of the flowers we're choosing. You know what we can do though is scoot them very close to the foundation. <laughs> not to brag, but it's a beautiful day. Even if there are only a couple plants. Like, even if we really only did just put, like, a couple plants like that, I don't think that's too bad. Maybe a slightly bigger one underneath that. If I size that up, that's not that bad. We could use that. I was worried it would look ridiculous sized up, but it doesn't look that bad. It's much bigger than the one next to it. <laughs> That's okay. Do we just leave it like that? I don't know. I don't want to go too overboard because the other houses have like no landscaping. And like I said, I wanted it to be generic like my neighbors. Some of them have like little chimneys though. We don't even have a fireplace. Doesn't mean we don't need one of these though. Okay. That's not that bad looking. It, oh, I hate it so much. It is that bad looking. <laughs> Let's do the kids' bedrooms because they'll be easiest, I think. Oh, how about one of them? Like the baby can have the little blue. Oh, that'll be cute. We can have a green kids' room. <laughs> Let's furnish the baby's room first. That's actually really pretty. I wasn't expecting to like it that much. I want my big toddler bed. That fits really well in here. The the style of that. How about a bunny? <laughs> Ew. Okay, these come in those colors by default. That works. Where's Blarfy? Why? Oh, there he is. I was like, I looked up and down. I scrolled up and down so much trying to find Blarfy just then, and I couldn't find him. We could do the rainbow. That's actually not that bad, and then we could put the little toddler like this thing on it. Maybe a ducky sized up. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna put the toddler potty in the corner. Usually I, I either put it in the toddler's bedroom or in the bathroom. Obviously it makes more sense in the bathroom, but what if I want the potty to be in the bedroom? Why can't I have it there, huh? Yeah, that looks really good. That can stay. <laughs> I actually like this room. I think that turned out pretty cute. It all kind of works. This bedroom will be easy because of the fact that uh, this swatch is the default. <laughs> we lucked out with this one, I think. Using Blarfy again. Blarfy is such an easy answer to everything. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. This 
room isn't that good looking. <laughs> Maybe if we got a couple more windows for the- Oh, I have to like alt place this window, don't I? Because I moved- I scooted the door down. Oh, I probably can just leave it, right? I don't actually care that much. Yeah, more windows is better in there. I just want to leave it. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> oh, what does the default on the shower look like? It's pink? Ooh. Let's use that. I want a shower tub combo up here. I think that's important. I know we used that downstairs. Let's just copy some of the stuff from down here. Although I don't think that we can have a plant in here very easily. Yeah, that's probably fine. Should we base this next room off of whatever bed we choose? I'm gonna look base game. Like if we did like that bed, this could be a teen's room. Do we have a wall default that would work in here? I guess the- Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it to be that dark. Does this work? No, that's too bright. That's not the vibe. That's not the vibe. Sunset? That might work. It has the blue. It also ties in some more colors. Oh, I don't know what dresser to put with it. Maybe we should try- actually, let's try and use eco lifestyle. Even just like one of the new beds your sims can craft. Like we could do- what's the first color? The white one? That's easy. Then we could pick any wall coloring in here. I feel like we- we owe this to our- our poor- Poor selves. Yeah, I think it's fine to use the craftable items from Eco Lifestyle. And I'm using the default swatch, like the white one that it makes first. Or does it make that one first? Maybe it makes, I think it makes that color first, like the plain wood one. And then you have to dye everything else. Fabricated on table. Oh, they all are just the same name. I think it I think it makes this one if you don't dye it. Hopefully. It's not a big deal, right? I don't know what rug to put in here. We could use this one. I think maybe I should use this bed instead. <laughs> That's kind of a fun bed for a teen's bedroom. I would have loved that. I would still I say would have. I still would love that. Those shelves above their bed are kind of cool. I'm not sure if it's like too much above the bed, but I actually really like that. I kind of want to keep it. <laughs> oh, we could use this dinosaur thing in the kids' room. That's fun. Well, maybe this sim can be into painting too. That's actually really good idea. What do we put in this corner? Like a chair? Maybe this like upcycled chair and a lamp? I don't know. I don't like this room <laughs> at all. This one, this one's not my best work. Maybe she can have some posters. Yeah, let's just pretend it didn't happen. Let's, let's do the hallway. I might even just take like this thing from downstairs, some random eco lifestyle stuff and just leave it. I don't even care. It doesn't need to be complicated. It's just the hallway. And last but not least, the master bedroom. Let's try and make something base game work. There is like base game furniture sets. It just is a question of like what bed color matches the nightstand colors. I guess we have to pick the nightstand first. Does anything have a white swatch by default? No. Oh. <laughs> Oh, maybe, wait, this one. This one has a weird, that, like, baby poop color. Oh, that could work. Wish it wouldn't, but that's maybe our only option. We want at least somewhat matching wood tones. I don't know what style this house is meant to be. This is not good. We can have some curtains. That'll be nice. We can have a dresser. That'll be nice. <laughs> we can have a mirror. That'll be nice. <laughs> maybe a plant if we're feeling a little wild. Wow. <laughs> I might use that same bench that we had. I, I think this thing is pretty cool. I want to use that again. It doesn't really match anything, but oh well. Maybe we could use Jeffrey. There we go. Not to get too crazy, but I might even put a rug. I don't know what rug. Honestly, just the same. I don't want to use the same one as the living room, but I, I want it to be base game. And none of these, like, I don't want to use that. Maybe we don't get a rug. <laughs> Maybe they don't get to have one. How about that wall? That's fine. And I say we pretend that it's done and never, ever, ever look back. <laughs> My cat's back. This one will never, ever stop wanting attention while I'm recording. It's just, it's unbelievable. Are you seeing this? It's like she knows that I'm making a video. So she's like, oh, oh, there's going to be people that are going to see me. Show me to them. <laughs> Final thoughts, I think that this challenge was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. It's also just, oh, cat on the desk. <laughs> it's also just not good. It's not bad, but it's it's not good. And I think that that goes for a lot of my builds in The Sims. Not bad, but really just not good. My cat is so dramatic when I'm recording. It's every single time I'm trying to do something, she's like, oh, you're using your keyboard? I'm gonna sit on it. She wants to be the only thing that gets attention in this house.